Okay, um, this video is just a short introduction to eugenics. Um, by now, most of you have already read the book, so you already have some idea of what I'm talking about. And so this is just kind of putting it into context. <coughs> okay, so, right, eugenics is the idea of good genes. Um, Plato actually was the first person to talk about it. If you read later in the Republic, he talks about how um, we should have um, all the smart people, all the strong people, all the awesome people should make babies with each other. Um, in some ways, he was um, gender progressive because he thought you should treat women and men the same. Um, however, he also said you should take all the children away from their parents and raise them collectively. Um, anyway, it was 2000 years ago. By the 1800s, we were starting to see Darwin, who was talking about genetics. Um, and um, that's when we start to hear about Harry Laughlin, who is, again, a Kirksville resident. Um, his family was actually super involved um, with things in Kirksville. Um, his uncle was the president of A.T. Still University on the other side of town. Um, several of his family were professors. Um, the house that uh, President uh, Thomas lives in is we call it the university residence, but if you named it after the person who owned it, it would be called Laughlin House because it was actually owned by that president of AT Still who then donated to the college because of course it's right next door to the college, so it makes sense um, for that. Um, anyway, um, he's actually not the biggest bad guy. You probably figured that out by now. Charles Davenport is really the um, father of the American eugenics movement. Um, but Harry Laughlin is interesting because again, he grew up in Kirksville, he went to the school you go to, which used to be called First District Normal School in Kirksville, Missouri. Um, he got a PhD. Um, he was a school teacher. And then he went to Long Island to work at the Eugenics uh, Records Office, which is a Cold Spring Harbor. Um, and um, anyway, um, this is where a lot of these ideas were developed. Now, the other thing that I just want to mention, and next week I'll have a whole lecture about that, um, is that Truman is actually the home of Laughlin's papers. So we actually have a ton of materials related to that. Um, I'm going to show you some of them next week, but I did want to mention that eugenicsarchive.org um, has a ton of images um, for it, and um, you can uh, check that out um, as you're getting to your paper. Um, anyway, um, the idea is you're supposed to get kind of a deep look at eugenics, but not a super um, crazy deep one like you're doing for your term paper. So you're going to look at some Wikipedia articles, you're going to um, look at that image archive. If you were uh, doing this in a live class, we would actually go over to the library and check some of the things out. Um, one of the things that strikes me when I talk, uh, look at his papers is how boring they are because he's just a scientist who's collecting data. Um, he has these beautifully handwritten ANOVAs, which um, nowadays, of course, we always do those on the computer, but you can see that they look um, just very um, um, good. So anyway, um, the other source that I'm just going to mention here real quick is called the Eugenics Crusade. Um, it has that creepy image that is right here. This is a PBS show. It's about two hours long. Um, it's literally a TV show. Um, we used to watch it again during the class um, and you might do that. Um, I would like you to take just a little bit of notes. Again, I think um, between the Wikipedia pages and um, the book, you're gonna get a pretty good sense of it. The last thing I wanna mention in the lecture is that um, I am gonna ask you to watch another video besides this one. Um, and you have a choice of what to do for that. And in the assignment for next week, I have a list of different topics and different sources and movies and stuff. There's a 10 minute video, which you might say, gosh, 10 minutes is really short. I should watch that one. However, this is a pro eugenics movie from the 1920s, 1930s, and it is creepy. Um, the other things are mostly feature films. I've mentioned Gattaca a couple times, um, I'm sure. Um, but um, if you want to watch that 10 minute one, that's it. So for the paper you're going to write, you have the book, you have the two um, videos, this uh, TV episode, and whatever you watch for your second one, the image archive, and Wikipedia. So you're not going to have to go find other sources um, to write your paper. So. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, the um, American Experience episode, um, it is just as icky as that uh, image kind of creeps you out just looking at it. So pop the popcorn, get your friends, um, and you can watch that. It is free right there on the pbs.org, um, although it's also on, I think it was on Netflix for a while, but you can get it right from pbs.org. 
um, or your favorite place to get videos. It's actually all on YouTube too, if you wanted to watch it there, although the PBS one is higher definition. So anyway, that's just a quick introduction to um, the eugenics topic. Again, I know you've already read the book, so um, you're probably uh, pretty deep into it. So there you go.